That's right. We're going to offer these videos to you for half of what you would pay if you bought both of them on their own. Next move group's sixth anniversary this week. Engineered Medical Systems, uh, they're a medical device manufacturer. They're going to invest $13.3 million and create 60 new jobs in Bartlett, Tennessee. And covers a high-level comparison of some common business structures used by foreign companies to conduct their U.S. operations. Our golf tip this week comes from Tiger Woods. The PJ Championship's being played right now, so how can we not go to Tiger Woods? Next Move Group, the voice of economic development. Here is Chad Chancellor. Welcome to this week's Next Move Group YouTube newscast, the voice of economic development. I'm Chad Chancellor, co-founder of Next Move Group, and I can't believe I'm saying this to you, but we are celebrating our sixth anniversary this week. We are about to start year seven. Who in the world would have thought time would have flown so fast? So back in August of 2014, Alex Metzger and I founded Next Move Group with the mission of creating economic growth for small to mid-sized companies, communities, and nonprofit organizations. And the reason that was our mission is both of our stories. So my story is when I was a little kid, my dad worked at a sunbeam plant in rural Mississippi. And overnight, Sunbeam shut the plant, moved all the production to China, just kept the warehouse. They used to employ five or 600 people in that little Mississippi town. Now they employ 20 or 30 in a warehouse. They shipped all the production to China. And so I have a real passion, a real passion for helping small towns keep that from happening. How do we get our manufacturing jobs back over here from China? At the same time, Alex Metzger, the other co-founder of Next Move Group, he was raised by a very successful entrepreneurial family. They were in the meat packing business. And over time, Walmart put them out of business as they got into groceries. So in 2014, when we founded this company, we sat down and kind of compared what we really wanted to accomplish. And it all came down to this. We wanted to help small to mid-sized companies, communities, and nonprofit organizations create economic growth. I cannot think of any economic development consulting firm since 2014 that has grown as fast as we have. And I firmly believe in the bottom of my heart, the reason we've grown so fast is we honed in on our mission. Our mission is to help the small to mid-sized companies, communities, and nonprofit organizations. That's our mission. We've been very specific about it. Are there any other firms out there who come right out and say that? I'm not sure that there are. So look at this map. Since 2014, we have secured clients from all these states colored in red, from Washington State to California to Maine to Florida, ever coast, ever coast, and ever border, from North Dakota to Texas. Look at this. In all parts in between, we have secured clients. We've also secured clients in Canada, Israel, and Brazil over the last six years. So what I say to those of you watching this video is thank you. Many of you have been clients of ours in the past. You may be clients of ours now, or even if not, We've grown by word of mouth from economic developers. So from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. We are just going to keep adding fuel to our fire to help small to mid-sized companies, communities, and nonprofit organizations. The more we grow, the more fuel we can add to this fire to help our target markets create economic growth. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As we start year seven, thank you. In order to celebrate our anniversary, we have got a special offer for you this week and next week from the movement. So for the next two weeks only, we've got a special movement offer. We're going to bundle together our two most popular videos so far and let you buy both of them for half off. That's right. We're going to offer these videos to you for half of what you would pay if you bought both of them on their own. These are by far our two best sellers. And so for our anniversary, we want to get these out and make this offer to you. So they are the board training one. What are proper roles and responsibilities of economic development board members and elected officials? And more importantly, what their roles are not and how rural towns can build a machine like program to land manufacturing plants. These two have sold by far more than any of the rest of them. So what we're going to do the next two weeks, starting tomorrow, it's not available yet tonight, starting tomorrow, you can buy both of these for half of what they would cost if you bought them separately or you can rent them. You know, when you buy our videos, you can either buy them and own a workbook forever, an audio file, or you can rent it for 30 days. So this is going to be a special offer that we send to you tomorrow. And then it'll last for the next two weeks. This opportunity will be out there for you. Also within the movement, this Wednesday, we're releasing our next video in our online marketing course. So we've got a five part online marketing series that's out there for our members only. Last week, we released one showing you how we put these ads out. Many of you 
see our ads as you browse Fox News or CNN or AccuWeather. You'll see ads from us. Last week, we showed our members how it is that we do that. We also showed our members how to capture people hitting their website and turn them into prospects. This Wednesday, we're releasing a video teaching people how to podcast. How can you podcast? You may say, well, how can podcasting help economic developers? Well, I can just tell you, for less than $2,500 a year, you could build a podcast channel that could absolutely generate prospects for you. I don't care if you're in the smallest town in this country or if you're in New York City. For less than $2,500 a year, you can build a podcasting channel that would deliver results and prospects for your community. So this Wednesday, we're going to teach that in our second of a five-part series to teach online marketing. Our golf tip this week comes from Tiger Woods. The PGA Championship's being played right now, so how can we not go to Tiger Woods for our golf tip this week? And it's about putting. So every tip that we give, we like to be simple. We don't want to get into, you know, all kind of swing playing. All our tips are simple, and Tiger's got a really simple one. If you're not putting well, this is what he said happens to him. He believes you must have your eyes straight over the ball when you putt. And so he gave this tip. Take a ball and put it right here between your eyes. Put the ball right there as you're standing over the putt. Drop that ball. If that ball does not hit your ball on the ground that you're standing over the putter, if the ball doesn't hit the ball on the ground, then your eyes are not right over the ball. If that ball falls a little inside where your ball on the ground is, then your eyes are too far inside, likewise outside, behind, or in front. This is a tip that Tiger gave. He says when he starts putting bad, most of the time his eyes are not right straight over the ball. So today in honor of the PGA Championship, if you're not putting well, you try that tip, it'll set you straight. Let's wrap up my portion of this week's newscast. I'll end with saying I'm excited we got our whole team back to work this week. So we've been all disrupted the last two weeks. I had vacation, then my dad had thyroid surgery. Alex had a cousin pass away. Gabby was on vacation. So we have all been scattered around. This week, we're all back to work. So we want to be plenty productive and have a lot to tell you in two weeks. Happy August, everybody, and welcome to the Your Next Move segment of tonight's newscast. Uh, It is the beginning of August, and you may have already heard, but it is Next Move Group's sixth anniversary this week, so extremely excited about that. And I just want to send a special thank you out to all of our clients, all of the nonprofit organizations, Chamber of Commerce, economic development groups everywhere from Maine to Texas to Florida to Washington State, everywhere in between, could not have grown this executive search business to what it is today without each and every one of you. So just want to spend a special thank you to you all. Chad and I are very excited for your support. And uh, with that said, let's look into a couple of jobs that are open on the market and see if any of them may interest you. We're going to start in Canada, uh, Vancouver. So this is the Regional Economic Prosperity Group in Metro Vancouver, British Columbia, hunting a new executive director. Very big organization there. They'll be in charge of doing everything, um, charging the Regional Economic Prosperity Business Plan, doing attraction, staff management, uh, BR&E, everything to grow the economy there in Vancouver. So if you'd like to apply for that or for some more information, we're going to put an email address up for you. It's pfm at pfmsearch.com. And over in the metro Chicago area, the city of De Plains, Illinois, is looking for an economic development manager. So this is just north of Chicago, actually very close to O'Hare Airport, and uh, going to pay eighty-seven to $118,000. At least that's what they're advertising the position for. So for more information, you can go to D-E-S-P-L-A-I-N-E-S dot org backslash jobs. And in Iowa, West Des Moines Community and Economic Development Department, this is West Des Moines, Iowa, is looking for a business development coordinator. So going to be a lot of BRE, some urban renewal, a great opportunity over in West Des Moines. If you are interested or would like to see the job description, please go to wdm.iowa.gov. And they're accepting applications to August 21st, so you have a little bit of time to check that out. And last but not least, we're going to head to Colorado, Laramere County Economic and Workforce Development. This is Laramere County, Colorado. Economic Development Specialist is what they're looking for. So this position is going to provide technical and professional expertise related to BR&E, also working hand-in-hand with the Northern Colorado BR&E Partnership. So um, to learn more or to apply for this, we're going to put this web address up below because there's a lot to spell out, but just go to that web address, 
look at the job description. If any of the positions we talked about today interest you or you'd like some more information, you can go to one of these addresses or reach out to our team and our staff and we'll make sure and put you in touch with the right people. So uh, again, thank you all for your continued support. Thanks for watching our new cast and we will see you in a couple weeks. Oh, this is Brandon Nettles with your Rounding the Bases segment for this week. I'm going to be covering new announcements that we've seen over the past two weeks. Germany-based Continental plans to invest more than $4 million to expand their existing facility in DeKalb County, Indiana. Menard Incorporated plans to build a new manufacturing and distribution facility in Ravenna, Ohio, and this is expected to create 90 new jobs. Select Products Holdings is going to invest $4 million and create 73 new jobs at their new manufacturing center in Vance County, North Carolina. Engineered Medical Systems, uh, they're a medical device manufacturer. They're going to invest $13.3 million and create 60 new jobs in Bartlett, Tennessee. Simcom International is going to invest $109 million to expand their operations and build their new worldwide HQ in Orlando, Florida. Dollar General plans to expand operations and add new facilities in Bowling Green, Kentucky and in Montgomery, Alabama. Home Depot will open three new distribution centers in Atlanta over the next 18 months to support growing demand. And this expansion is expected to create approximately 1,000 new jobs in Georgia. Shutterfly is going to invest more than $23.2 million over the next three years to enhance production at their facility in Galleon, Ohio. Lockheed Martin is going to expand their manufacturing at Texarkana, Texas, as part of a $77 million contract with the U.S. Army. General Mills is going to undertake a major expansion at their production center in Wellston, Ohio, and that's projected to create 900 new jobs. Tyson Foods recently completed an $87.6 million expansion at their existing operations in Union City, Tennessee. Intelligence Life Cycle is Solutions. We will locate their Electronic Asset Recovery and Recycling Operations Center in Williston, South Carolina, and that's expected to create 40 new jobs. German automotive supplier Mahl, I think that's how you pronounce it, will expand their operations in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, the project is expected to create 300 new jobs. Phillips Tube Group, they're a uh, steel tube manufacturer. They're going to invest $8.2 million to expand their manufacturing plant and relocate into the former Matthews International Building in Richmond, Indiana. International Gourmet Foods, they're going to invest $15.6 million to establish a new HQ in Prince William County, Virginia, and that's expected to create 169 new jobs. And uh, finally, School Mint, uh, they're an education and software company. They're going to relocate their HQ and consolidate operations to Lafayette, Louisiana. And that's going to round us out for this week. If you have any uh, upcoming announcements that you'd like us to feature, uh, please let us know. And we'll do so and we'll see you next time. Hello, this is Brandon Nails and welcome to our Learning Lab segment for this week. Let's get started. IEDC came out with a new article titled How COVID Has Impacted Small Businesses. This article covers how small businesses have been affected by COVID and gives an overview of common small business concerns and issues. The article also mentions strategies that could be effective in assisting small businesses that are currently struggling. You can find that article on IEDC's RestoreYourEconomy.org website. Next, there is an upcoming webinar by Select USA. It is titled An Overview of Common Business Structures. It is part of their Investor Guide mini-series and covers a high-level comparison of some common business structures used by foreign companies to conduct their U.S. operations and it'll go over what impact that structure might have on a company's business and financing opportunities. That webinar will take place next Friday, August 14th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. You can find where to register at select, selectusa.gov backslash events backslash upcoming. Uh, that's all for today and see you next time.